So I have this great idea. I'm going to start a swimming pool. And I'm going to charge X amount of dollars for people to get in. And X amount of dollars for families. X amount of dollars for season passes. I'm going to have this indoor and it's going to be all year round. I'm also going to add a lounge area. And another lounge area uh, just for uh, adult people to order cocktails and things like that and to mingle. I'm also going to have like a place where you can uh, get massages. Also have chiropractic services available in there. I'm also going to have a basketball court, which you can turn into like a volleyball court. And we can host tournaments. And I'm going to keep going on and adding on to this idea. Even have a gym in there where you can go lift. uh, A place for casual lifters. A place for more extreme lifters. But the thing about this idea is I come up with all these things. And I just realized that somebody else stole my idea and they created uh, a place just like it. Now, the difference between my place and theirs is they were going to offer membership subscriptions as opposed to just entry fees and do like a blanket subscription and with different tiers and access to different levels of the building and different levels of their services. And I was offended because they stole my idea. And they beat me to the punch. Now, an idea is something that you really can't put a a stamp on. Or you really, you can claim it, but you can't say somebody stole your idea. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm talking about this. I was engaged in some conversation the other day about ideas. And it's something that I looked up previously. Because over the years I've had ideas about to do certain things, to do this project, to do that project. And sometimes you realize other people have the same idea. Sometimes you tell people about your ideas and you see somebody that beats you to the punch and you feel like they offended you or they stole your idea. But I've discovered that you can't really steal someone's idea. An idea is just an idea. Um, you can't put up really put a patent on your idea. You can't really put a trademark or a copyright on just an idea because you have, you have the freedom to create, to come up with different things. Even just an idea of having a song a specific way when somebody goes out and they actually make that song that they may have stole your idea, but it's, it's not the same. It's not going to have the same copyright. It's not going to have the same sound. It may be similar. But as far as making a claim on an idea is something that's impossible or near impossible. Now, when you have an idea, the best way to protect that idea is to follow through with that idea. And where you get into more like trademarks or patents and things like that is when you have a very unique idea i just coming up with a, a project or a, a facility like i mentioned at the beginning of the podcast anybody can have that idea you really can't put a patent on having a club or a gym with a membership it would be the equivalent of a construction company putting a patent or a copyright on the structure of a roof Or how you build the roof. And every time somebody puts a roof on the house. Or um, the framing of the roof on the house. They have to pay a certain license fee. So they can use that roof. And the owner of the home has to pay a license fee. Just to live in the home. You know they have to be. Unique ideas. And what I mean by unique. Ideas or unique things is. You take Bruce Buffer. For instance. You know, when he announces the fights for the UFC events or any other fights or some um, specific events that he's hired for, he has the saying where he says it's time. His um, 
Michael Buffer, you know, he's popular for Are You Ready to Rumble? You know, those phrases that those guys say, they do have a, I, I can't remember if it's a patent or if it's a copyright on those. I think it's a type of a trademark. Sometimes that's has to be um the patent has to be done two or three different times and it um uh, certain legalities that you have to do and I don't have full knowledge of those legalities but when you do have a, uh, like a product or a slogan or something like that there's different ways that you have to go about protecting that and with your patents and your trademarks cuz those patents trademarks copyrights all cover different types of areas a copyright would be more like um like a book song um patents are on how you create things how you put them together because they're unique in the way you design it and the way you put it together uh, some people can be in violation of patents in certain ways that's why people usually get um a, nu- a numerous amount of patents to protect their products trademarks would be something like uh pictures or a brand or something that you have like the nike swoosh would be a trademark now you use that trademark you need a license to use those things coca-cola things that are unique to products have that trademark but it's coca-cola and some of the other soda companies you know they use carbonations in their in their products. They use certain formulas in their products. Some of them are similar. Some of them are the same companies. But they're not walking on each other as far as um, the patents or the trademark formulas that they use. And if they are so close, uh, there's usually legalities that go along with that. Now you the reason I mentioned that is you if you have big companies like that and one company creates something walks on the trademark or the patent you know they're they can be held liable they can uh be made to pay a fine or um pay some kind of pay some kind of royalty back to that other company it may end up in that but if you're just a local guy on the block and you come up with a trademark or a copyright on something and the guy across town does the same thing and he violates your trademark or your your patent and you charge them a royalty or maybe you do a cease and desist or however you're not you're not going to get a whole lot out of it as if you're a big company like Coca-Cola or somebody like that or Bruce Buffer or somebody like that. You know, if they don't have money and they just stole your idea, um, you're not going to see anything monetary off of that. You know, those things are made to protect um, your, your property and the things that you create. Some people uh, jump the gun too early and they go out and get trademarks and copyrights on things they really don't need at the time because the best type of copyright patent or trademark is the simple fact that you created that product or whatever it is that you had the idea of the simple creation of that is going to supersede a lot of people when they follow that up. And I say all this because if you have an idea, don't sit on the idea Somebody else eventually is going to do it. Even if you don't tell anybody, somebody's going to come up with the same idea. If you go tell 10 people, they're going to tell other people. Somebody may just beat you to the punch. And you can feel insulted. (laughs) You can feel kind of like you inspired somebody. But if you have something, go do it. Don't wait. Don't wait on somebody else to do it. There's going to be bumps in the road after you create whatever it is. And it's going to be hardships that you have to endure through. But you can't let the fear hold you back from the idea that you want to uh, put into a, a progress. 
Don't wait. Start today. If you talk to anybody or uh, have any type of mentors or people that you look up to, one thing they're all going to say is you you have an idea, you have a goal or something, start today. Don't wait. When you start and those ideas are in progress, you'll know the correct time that you need to apply for your, your patents or your trademarks or your copyrights. So don't let that stop you from doing anything that you're going to do because you're scared somebody is going to rip you off in some type of way. But I hope you enjoyed the podcast and hope you guys are going into the new year with a... New goals, new aspirations. Uh, Don't be lazy. Get out there in 2022 and do work. And come back and listen to the Mega Talks podcast. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.